Hi everyone, we're going to find the value of x that makes n the n center of the triangle. So this one right here, and we're using the concurrency of angle bisectors of a triangle. So that means if these uh, lines bisect the angles uh, such that these sides here are perpendicular, and you draw them straight down or straight across, uh, then these sides are congruent. And that's basically what this says right here. So these are your bisectors. So these sides are congruent because these are perpendicular lines. They're perpendicular to that uh, in center. So let's get started. Um, on the first one, I'm going to look at this triangle here. It's a right triangle, and when you use the Pythagorean theorem, and I'm going to say a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and so we have a squared plus 48 squared equals 52 squared. Um, 52 squared. All right, so um, when you use the Pythagorean theorem, you're going to get 52 squared equals 2,704 minus 48 squared, which is uh, 22,304. You subtract those two, and you get 400 equals a squared. So when you square root both sides, you take the positive value. So a equals 20. Now, if this is 20, <coughs> then this side's going to be 20. So you set 4x equals 20. Divide both sides by 4, and you get x equals 5. And that's how you do that. Now, what I want to talk about is the Pythagorean triples. So we had 20, 48, and 52. If you knew your Pythagorean triples, and I'm going to divide all of these by 4, you would get 5, 12, 13. This is called an essential uh, Pythagorean triple, um, and all we did was multiply that by 4 to get this value. So if you know your essential Pythagorean triples, you don't have to keep going through uh, this process here. Um, you could see, uh, if you see these two numbers, then you would know this is 5, and you could go up that way. So let's try that with the next one. We have 45 and 51. And let's divide um, 51 by 3, and you get 17. And divide 45 by 3, you get 15. Well, 8, 15, 17 is an essential um, triple. So when you um, multiply, we multiplied this by 3, then this side here would be 24. So this is 24. This side has to be 24. So we set 3x equal to 24, so x equals 8. If not, you would have to use the Pythagorean th uh, theorem. If you didn't do it this way, you would get um, a squared plus 45 squared equals 51 squared, and you would get a squared uh, is 51 squared minus 45 squared, and that would give you a squared equals 576. You square root both sides, you get, uh, uh, take the positive square root, you get a equals 24. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.